humble bee, fuzzy, adorable, and a vital player in our ecosystem. Recently, bees have been under threat in the UK, and with the standard methods of conservation failing us, we must turn to technology to find a solution. In the last 10 years, a third of the UK population of bees has died. This may not sound like much, but bees account for 80% of the pollination of all wildflowers in the UK. Bees are highly specialised and important for pollination. But why should we care about the pollination of trees and flowers? Well, if a tree's flowers are not sufficiently pollinated, the fruit can be misshapen. Like this orange. However, misshapen fruit is the least of our worries, as bees account for 30 billion a year in crop production. If bees were to go extinct today, half of the fruit and veg on our shelves would be gone. Like this, we couldn't sustain our 7.8 billion population. So, what are we going to do about it? Hopefully, in this documentary, we'll find a solution, with the help of some cutting-edge technology. Low-tech solutions such as simply raising awareness and beekeeping will help to sustain the bee population in a local area. However, the problem is much more widespread than this and requires a much bigger approach. However, bees are not the only ones that are in dire need of help. Thousands of species each year are eradicated by deforestation and the loss of their habitat. In fact, a few years ago, the Sphinx macaw, just like the bird in the film Rio, went extinct in the wild in Brazil due to deforestation, and we're losing many more each year. However, there is some hope to save them. One of these technologies is drones. Drones have started to be used to combat deforestation. Drones can fly autonomous flights over forests and record full HD footage and detect deforestation. Not only does this decrease cost, but it also increases the amount of land that can be covered. The drones monitor illegal activities in the forest and conduct surveys of large animal species. This is a massive step up for conservation, especially in developing countries. Currently, the main source for this sort of information is satellite-based technology. And this sort of technology is unaccessible to the third world, and it's very expensive. However, the emergence of low-cost autonomous drone technology could be within the budget. This is particularly important, as many of the world's most threatened forests, home to the most biodiversity on the planet, are in developing countries, such as the Atlantic Forest in Brazil. Lian Pinko and Serge A have already started to test the implementation of this technology in partnership with the Orangutan Conservatory operating in Southeast Asia. The drones can already take geotagged photographs, which can be superimposed over Google Earth to allow the conservatory to visualize what the land is being used for and the activity of the people in the area. In addition, the drone can document large mammals, including the orangutan, which is a much easier method than satellite-based imaging. With this new, cheap drone technology being shipped out across the world, the tide of conservation efforts may be changing. But how does this drone technology, halfway across the world, relate to our bees and conservation efforts here in the UK? Well, one of the leading causes of bee population decline is the loss of their habitats. Much like how the loss of the forest in Brazil is causing population decline there. But can drones help our bees in the UK? Well, it's complicated. It is possible that drones could be used to survey land in the UK. However, there are a few problems. 
Firstly, the drones could identify types of trees and which areas are being deforested, but specific flowers are unable to be identified due to the resolution of the camera. Therefore, the use for identifying major habitat destruction is limited. Furthermore, the UK is a major hub for transport, specifically air travel, limiting the areas that drones can actually be flown. Even if drones could be freely used in the UK for this sort of operation, we would have to be able to act on this information. And unfortunately, deforestation is not the only cause of bee population decline, and drones can only really help in monitoring this area. Overall, drones are much better suited for large open areas, such as rainforests, so they can track large animals and actually have some sort of impact. So what can be done to help bees in need of a home? Fortunately, one of the most important and impactful technological breakthroughs of the modern era has our back, the internet. The internet is one of the best ways to spread the word about bee habitat destruction and create a forum of discussion to get people involved in helping the bees. There are already many sites and social media pages encouraging people to make their gardens more bee friendly. Many more people beekeep and share their experiences with other beekeepers, encouraging more people to take up the hobby. Beekeeping is an invaluable part of the fight to save Britain's bees, as keeping bees helps to strengthen the gene pool by adding healthy bees back into the population. Not only that, but just two hives can pollinate an entire mid-sized garden for thriving plants. Unfortunately, bees have more than one enemy when it comes to survival. We've already seen that habitat loss is one thing that is causing bee populations to decline. But what else is causing this? Our population on planet Earth continues to rise day by day on an ever upward chart. And all these new people need to be fed. Therefore, agriculture is having to up the ante and churn out more and more food each year. And to make sure these targets are met, pesticides are being used in ever more cosmic amounts to kill off pests munching on the crops. However, pesticides are not in the best interest of our bees. Some pesticides can outright kill our honeybees, but some pesticides and herbicides are sneakier. Pesticides at sublethal levels have been shown to impair the learning abilities of honeybees and suppress their immune systems. An impaired immune system leads to the bees dying of diseases that normally would have been non-lethal. Luckily for the bees, the small robot company is developing some cutting edge technology to help them out. The small robot company is a startup aiming to revolutionise the way farming is carried out. They are building high tech robots to take away the need for pesticides and large tractors to be used. Not only would the use of these robots remove the need for any harmful pesticides, but it would help reduce emissions as less large farm machinery is needed to carry out tasks on the farm. Here's how they work. Their first robot, Tom, is a crop monitoring robot. Tom is a scanning robot that lives on the farm covering 20 hectares a day. Soon he'll be fully autonomous, living in his own kennel equipped with battery charging and local AI algorithms. From the information fed by Tom, Dick, the heavy lifter robot, can accurately zap the weeds. By zapping each weed accurately and individually, the need for any pesticides is completely removed. What excites me most about the small robot company is that we could have, on the farm, within two or three years, a solution where we can have weed control without any use of chemicals at all. And I think that it's just that very concept in itself is hugely exciting. Zero pesticide usage would massively help bee populations as they would no longer be killed off by the chemicals. Unfortunately, the robots cannot be used on all crops, limiting the number of fields they can be used on. Furthermore, the robots are very limited in number at the moment, with the company being a startup. However, it is a very promising for the future of not only the bees, but for agriculture as a whole.
We have seen how futuristic tech is putting robots in our fields and drones in our skies. But to what extent is this tech actually helping and are the old ways of conservation better? Well, currently most of the tech we have seen so far is in the early stages of development and has not been widely adopted yet. Currently, the impact of other conservation efforts are more substantial. However, these new technologies, if they are widely adopted in the future, could have a massive impact on the bees, completely removing some of the factors that are causing their populations to decline.